Hello and welcome back to the Football Chat Podcast. It's a very, very hot Sunday afternoon at the time of recording. It's actually a day before we post this and we're continuing on our series where we look at all the Premier League clubs, review their seasons just gone and look at how they're going to get on next season pretty much. This is the seventh instalment, or yeah, seventh, isn't it now? Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's Crystal Palace, episode 51 today as well. Obviously, we passed the half century with our Women's Euros predictions episode, so go check that out if you haven't already. But yes, Crystal Palace today then. Looking at last season, what a season it was for the Eagles at times. I was very, very very impressed. It was Vieira's first season in the Premier League, only managing, managing in the American leagues before them, and they're not real football leagues, so... That doesn't count. <laughs> so, but with uh, with Crystal Palace, Vieira's side looked really, really good. I mean, Tariq Mitchell, Mark Gerhi, Michael Elise, Eric Yetze towards the end of the season when he got back to fitness, Gallagher, Zaha, all had stunning, stunning seasons. Yeah, I mean, I, I was very sceptical with the Vieira po- appointment. I didn't know how well it was going to go. Obviously, as you said, only senior in the American League, didn't really know how good of a mad he was. But, I mean, what a season Crystal Palace had. As you said uh, there, a lot of players had very good seasons. A lot of them were youth players. You know, that they either, young yeah. players that they either signed or bought on loan this season or that they've brought up through their academy. And Vieira used them really well. I also think the acquisition of a young manager and a young squad represents mm. the change from the Roy Hodgson era. Yeah. It, was a me- it, was a ver- it was an era of mediocrity for Palace. They just... Stayed in the Premier League, but never really progressed from there. I think though, under Vieira, this Palace side can go places. But I do think they. Th- I think now their focus needs to be on adding a couple, a couple players that will take them to the next level. They're now a very yeah. good young squad, but I think if they really want to be able to challenge, maybe for you, I think I think they could get top ten next season, most likely. But I, I think there's one player that I miss massively. But we'll get onto that in our transfer rumours and stuff. Yeah, I definitely think there's a few deals. Obviously, they've already made two deals, two very good deals. Yes. Sam Johnston and... Malcolm... Malcolm, Malcolm Ab- Abbey. Abbey, Abbey Owe. Abbey Owe. Yes. Um, Something like that, isn't it? Two good deals. I definitely think the goalkeeper, Sam Johnston, that is a great signing on a free transfer. Very good goalkeeper. And I yeah. think he will... He two two very one. good free transfers there indeed. Yes. Should, should, that takes us pretty nicely onto our squad keep yeah. or sell then. Goalkeepers, Jack Butland. Go. I was going to say, I think you can get some money for Butland. Yeah. Because then they brought in Johnson for free, they've got Guaita, they've got Remy Matthews, whoever that guy is. He's th- right. Is he? Well, he's okay. just the third goal. He's just a typical third goalkeeper, isn't he? Yeah, he, he doesn't. He's 28, he'll never play, but he looks. Very English. smiley. Um, he ticks the homegrown. I mean, quota. I think they're all right on the homegrown quota. Looking at their squad, right, their right. squad. Um, but yeah, Butland. Then I would sell. Yeah, quite a keep. Back. But I was gonna say I would bring in a first choice keeper. Sam Johnson. Y- yeah, I kind of forgot they got Sam Johnson. I don't really rate Johnson that highly, but wow. I I think he's a good backup. I don't think he's a stunning what, first choice. Do you think that Sam Johnston and Guaita should play back up to another goalkeeper? I think Guaita should it should start over Johnston. I don't think they'll bring another keeper because they've already brought in Sam Johnston. But I, Sam I wouldn't. Johnston should be starting. If you're bringing in Johnston, I guess get rid of Guaita and Butland, then bring in a keeper. But they could start Johnston. I'll be interested to see. Um, but yeah, certainly if you're not bringing another keeper, you've got to keep three. I'd get rid of Butland and keep the others. Yeah. On to defenders then. Joel Get Ward, the right back. Blimey. This man is probably one of the worst footballers to grace the Premier League. I would prioritise selling Nathaniel Klein first and keeping Ward as a backup, yeah. potentially. Okay, yeah, do that then. Get rid of Klein. Keep, keep Ward as a backup, bring in a right back. Right back is a position that really does need strengthening for Palace next season. Tyreek Mitchell keep. must keep. James Tompkins, I think, is a fine Just backup. Float around. But I'd bring in another centre half. Because I think Joaquin Anderson and Mark Gurhey, next two players, keep, keep, keep. keep. Very, very solid backup. Uh, very, very solid uh, starting pair there. And then James Tompkins, I think you need another backup before James Tompkins is Ferguson. playing. Yeah, Nathan Ferguson's okay. Who's he played for, though? He's played one Premier League appearance in 21 22. He's a good backup, 
Yeah, I think if you ideally you'd bring in, I don't know, maybe uh, I'm trying to think who, which of the top sides have got maybe uh, Bai Eric Bai from Man United. He's I not, think that'd be a very good bench at Crystal Palace. Is he? No, but he'd probably he could probably start over who? Joachim Anderson potentially. Wow. Gohi yeah. Bai at the back together. You're benching Anderson. Yeah, or Anderson at right back. No. It's not got a right back, but yeah, so I d- I definitely think a right back's needed at Palace. Yeah. Maybe another centre half. Back up centre half. Yeah, I guess if if you can upgrade Anderson, do it. Mm. If not, maybe bring in a backup. Yeah. What? What's your problem with upgrading Anderson? I don't know. I, I think Anderson's very very good. Okay, that's why I said upgrade on Anderson. Yeah, but you have to get a very good centre half. I think Bailly's better than Anderson potentially. We've just never really seen Bailly get regular minutes for Man United. And then Nathan Ferguson and Reese Hannum might as well keep them around. I don't really know who they are. Ferguson should keep, definitely keep. And Hannum. Don't know who he is. He's never played for Palace. Keep him around. Yeah, sure. Or maybe get him alone. Who knows? Right, next up, Luka Milojevic. Keep. Really? Yeah. Experience. I thought he was pretty poor last season, I'll be honest. Experience, penalty taking. His uh, pens were poor. Good defensive, yeah, but you could say like Jorginho. Um, he, he scored zero goals last season. And how many penalties did he get? Uh, I see. Exactly. You Twenty-one, can... twenty-two. He didn't play really. He got fifteen matches. Exactly. That's the, that's why you got to keep him. It's just a good backup to bring on in defensive midfield to kick the shit yeah, out. Yeah, he's an all right backup. I think if you can bring another another midfielder though, happily get rid of him. Yeah, I'd, right back's the priority. For yeah. Palace, because uh, you've got, well, Chekio Kiate surely starts, right? I can't remember who starts in this team. He played 27 p- p- games last season. Mm. Well, you keep Mulyovic, but get rid of Kiate. Mulyovic is better. He played 15 matches last season. And Kiate played 27. Mulyovic doesn't fit into the game. Doesn't game. Doesn't mean I don't think Mulyovic adds anything to the side, apart okay. from the fact he can take pens. Okay. That's interesting. What? I don't know. Yeah, Elise, keep, hopefully. keep very very solid winger. Uh, there, Ebery Kietze, keep Will Hughes. Keep. Really? Again, well, actually, he was good last season. season. To be fair, when I saw him, I'm, I no, remember being a no. I remember being a bit um, surprised by the deal, but then he actually played all right. He's a good backup. He's prone quality. Jeffrey Schlapp. He played well. Yeah, I just think this is what I'm saying though. Palace have got good players, but if they want to go to the next level, Jeffrey Schlupp is not the backup. He can cover at left back. Okay, we'll bring another cover left back then if he's that vital to the team. James McArthur can go. The fact that man played 21 yeah. games yeah. last season. The problem is, with Schlupp, you, if you're going to get rid of him, you then have to bring in a cover at left wing and left back. Yeah. Where Schlupp can play just both. You need you need cheaper. like a Borna Sosa. Yeah, they're not gonna get that, are they? Why not? He'd much, go much better sides. Who? No one's going in for him. Anyone? Just go for him. Uh, Jairo Riedeveld. Keep. Yeah. I like him. Made just three appearances last season. Good backup. Twenty-five years of age. They've got a lot of good backups. I think he's good, but they're not. He's, they're not really using him. Maybe centre midfielder. Potentially loan route Riara Riedeveld, I think, in the pre- in the championship. Yeah, they need to bring players in before. Yeah, yeah, of course. But you, if you really keep a little bit of money. Yeah. And then Jusserun Raksaki, I mean, he played two appearances last season. He looked very good for the second side. Would you give him some minutes in the Premier League season yeah, or would you loan minutes, him to the championship? Especially when they've got so little amount of central midfielders. So you'd rather keep him around. But I, just, I don't know whether that was done in his development. Well, I don't know what you want him to do. You want to get rid of all their midfielders at this point? He's not. He's a winger. Okay, we'll tell you that then. I... Je- he's a he's a young winger. We'll keep him in. Okay, are you starting him? No, we're not starting him. Okay, well, do, would it not be more beneficial to send him to the championship? Give him. Is he that good? He played the PL or? two last year. That's not championship quality. So did Dane Scott. So is every other youngster before they go to the? Yeah, I wouldn't say Dane Scott's championship quality. What? Where would you put Dane Scott as a championship quality? Maybe bottom of the championship. Highly so bottom. Chuck Wemmerka is going to tear it apart with Villa next season. He played the same competition as Dane Scarlett. He's so much. You he's then, not they were. Compare. They both did. That, Chuck Wemmerka's a. I'm, I'm saying he's better, but the fact you've just said that Dane Scarlett is a low championship player. Okay. Chuck Wemmerka's a mid-championship player by your weird rankings. No. 
How does that make any sense? How yeah. don't care? It's, we're not, it's not about Scarlet Witch. I'm look at. Yeah, Raksark, you need, I think, needs a low move. Okay, Unless I've, you're going to give I've, him some I have no clue he is, so. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Jordan, are you? Get gone. Christ. The, the, Palace have the weirdest range of strikers. Zaha's a keep. Yeah. So I don't, there's not much to talk about there. Um, but Mateta, keep, Benteke, 100%. Eduard and Ayu. Right, get rid of Ayu and Benteke. I think, I was going to say get rid of three of them. No. Maybe keep Mateta. But I, I think, I think, strikers, I think you? Palace need a striker. Yeah, they do. Mateta and Eduard on form are fantastic. Yeah, but they're never on form. Well, one of them's got to be. Eduard got... It doesn't matter, you can't just keep buying players and buying players because your players aren't on form. 28 appearances, 6 goals last season. First season in the Prem. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, Better than Lukaku. 22 games, 5 goals for Mateta. That's not bad. It's his third campaign with Palace. And he hardly got... You know, you've been consistent there. Look, 22. Yeah, he's went 1-5-5. Next season... Ten. No, but you get you, you know what I mean. Though. You don't just buy keep buying new players because your other players are out of form. But do you? I think Edward's a very good bench option, but I barely saw him start last they season. Want, they don't want to get stuck with four strikers because they get buying new ones. Yeah, I well, keep... Benteke needs to go. Ayu needs to go. Yeah, I think Mateta and if Edward you get rid of both of them, surely you need another striker. No. Or you'll just offer over two and hope neither of them get No, injured. they play one up front, then they'll have a backup, and then last resort, Zaha can go up front. Okay. Interesting. Good job you're not on planning. No, I do. I oh. think if Pal- Palace areas for recruitment then, right back is a necessity. Yeah. Potential another centre-half, potentially some, uh, some upgrades in midfield. Definitely. I'd argue a striker, you think not? No. Definitely. Okay. Uh, interesting. Play let's a, let's have a look at some transfer Play Elise times then. nine if desperate. Okay, why? Why not just buy a strike rather than play a oh, winger it's up just front? Just a waste of money. You're acting like okay. Crystal Palace have got bags. They do. They don't. They they'd spend it, wouldn't they? They should. They they sold Wamba Saka for fifty mil. Who've they bought since? Eduard for twenty. Eze, Elise. Eze was there before Wamazaka left, I think. No, he wasn't. Elise was 15 mil. That leaves you with another 15. Eze joined from QPR. Fulham are going in for Luka Milojevic, by the way. Okay, well, they need to I, replace him. I think Palace. selling Milojevic is a very good decision. They, Why they, not? They need to replace him before they let him go. Why? They have like, Coyate, Riedervald, and Scott Lukafra at the club. Get rid of something until you've got a replacement. Yeah, but they have young players. They have players in positions that can step no, up in They're not on that list. Jairo Riedervald. He's not. He's Premier a no, but he's a fu- he's a better backup than Milly. I don't know what. Okay, no, why no, you no, think no, that? No, no. Luka Milovic no. is like this incredible okay, deal. Get rid of Milovic. You move Riedervald into the midfield. Then you've got no backup to Riedervald. He gets injured. Who else? Kiarte. He gets injured. Scott McArthur. He gets injured. Well, then you've had three no, DMs. Yes. No, you get ought, injured. But you ought to sell McArthur as well. Yeah, so we'll sell him later. That's what I'm saying, though. You yeah, need to we buy know, We will replace... Uh, but we don't need to replace him before Milo Ovich leaves. We don't need to, because I'm not Crystal Palace. We do need to sort it out. Uh, Barnsley want to loan someone. Palace will loan uh, Jessica and Ruxaki to uh, MK Dons. Yeah, he's just copying in Kane Kessler Haven. I don't know who that is. Yeah, right, right. Rome have offered 15 mil plus someone for Zaha. Now, this is interesting. No. What? Let's have a look. 15 mil. I believe it's... Zaha. And plus Felix Afenyagayan. No, then. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, according to Calcio Mercato, they've offered 15 mil plus Felix. That is... Deal. Yeah, if, if I was gonna say if they think and uh, think of that. That's oh, it. one signing that hasn't been confirmed yet, but it's almost done, is Cheek Decore to Crystal Palace there you go, from Lens. Now you can sell. Who is a fantastic it. midfielder? That yeah, is a very good signing. You don't destroy a house before you yeah. know you've got plans to build a new one, do you? Okay, so obviously Decore is a key. Does this now change your mind on Milovic? Yeah, he can go now. Okay, so then we have. I never said I'd keep him. I said okay. I'd keep him. Do we get? Do we get rid of Macarthur as no. well? Why? You need a replacement. No, we, they don't need four DMs. It's two. Why does anyone need four DMs? Okay, so you're telling me, so so you it's say get rid of Macarthur, yeah? Yeah. You've got Kiate, Decore, Riedeveld. Yeah. One of them gets injured, you've got two, you've got no backup DMs. What do you mean? They're not playing with two DMs. 
They play with one. Okay, who else they play midfield then? Probably like let's have a look. Who did they play last season? Will That's Hughes, awesome. mate. Oh, don't even. They'll play a two tell in midfield. That Will Hughes is going to start thirty-eight games in the Premier League next season. Hmm. For me, he will. No, let me have a look at who, who do they yeah, play last season. This. Right. Final game of the season against Man United. They beat them. Let's have a look at their lineup. They played a midfield three of Schlupp, Gallagher, and Hughes. This is the this is the position they need to replace. Is Connor Gallagher? So they've got they haven't got Gallagher. You want to get rid of Schlupp? At least Will Hughes. But then they're bringing in Decore. Yeah, you bring Decore and Kiate. That's your midfield three. You cannot tell me how Whitney. So you're telling me Palace need to make a step up and you want to yeah. play Hughes and Kiyate no, in the midfield. I, I think they still need to replace Gallagher. I'm just saying until they replace Gallagher. Ducore re- is a very good midfielder. I don't think he replaces what Gallagher does, though. No. So you need to add a Gallagher replacement. Yeah. And you're still telling me you're going to play Czech Kiyate with them? No. Yes. Cheek Decore, Czech Decore, Czech Kiyate... And then another DM. What's your problem with Kiate? He's rubbish. He's not rubbish. He is not Premier League quality. He's straight for West Ham, mate. And? So does Frank Lampard. He's Doesn't good. Doesn't mean to go put Chuck in the middle of the field and be world class. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. It's mainly just Roma wanting Zaha. They're not getting him. They shouldn't sell him. Uh, Palace are now pushing to sign Morgan Gibbs White. That would be a very good option. Yeah. Because yeah, a mid right a mid for three. Oh God, we got oh. a if I No, Gibbs we don't. We oh. give Swai, Dakare, Kiate. What's your problem there? Oh, and um, Joe, Joe Rigo went to Southampton as well. Wasn't so he what, was linked with Palace. On, so so Dakare. Yeah. Gives White Kiate. Not playing Kiate. What are you yeah. playing, James McArthur? No, he's gone. No, oh, he's injured. I'm, I'm playing Elise. In middle of the field? Yeah. What, and then Etse, what? Well, yeah. Yeah. See? Why do you want to play Kiyate so much? <laughs> it's good. Uh, <laughs> no. The defensive cover isn't great, but Decore will make... Uh, and to be fair, gives why good defensive cover. Yeah, yeah that's probably it works then. There you go. No, it's Decore. Wow. Like Kiyate, right? We smashed it. Also, Spallis have just signed... Uh, well, uh, three young players have signed professional contracts. Joe Sheridan, Ryan Bartley, and Malik Kodigan. See, they'll come through in a few years. When, also... When Gibbs White is had enough. That Palace shirt, what? gorgeous. I do like the shirt. The one yeah. with the scribbly lines. We'll do a Premier League kit ranking. We right? will, yes. We'll yeah. do home kits and away kits. That'll all be like the week before the season. That yes. stuff will all come out. But yeah, another heated squad key for sale. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, and transfer rumours section. Some loose predictions then um, for the season ahead. We'll definitely do our predictions, of course, closer to the time, but it's just for some. I mean, if a, they a little play bit of a loose prediction. The Corre Gibbs White Elise midfield, then I think definitely top 10. <laughs> Premier League winners. If, if Coyote starts, they'll go down. There, <laughs> I think they'll be close to the bottom. Why? What's your problem with Cheek? Okay, if they bring in a full, if they bring in a right back, don't play Coyote. In Actually, I didn't see any right backs linked. Yeah, I'm they need a right back. They bring in a right back and a mid- middle midfielder. Definitely top ten. For if not, I'd say probably around lower half and top half. For the them. right money, do you let Zaha leave? No. Forty mil. No. Why not? Have you seen Palace without Zaha? No, it's never happened. No, but if you have at least on one wing, Etsy on the other. I don't see why Zaha's necessary. I do. Plus, if you can get 40 mil in... He wins them games. Simple as that. He wins them games. I think you can replace him for 40 mil. No, who? I would potentially look at... Hmm. Keen Lewis Potter. <laughs> that he's left wing. not going to win Palace games. No, like but he's going to develop, isn't he? And? In that good young side. And it's going to take him two, three years to develop. What, they get down to the championship in that time? No. <laughs> a, a Christop- the current Crystal Palace team plus Keen Lewis Potter and no Zaha is not worse than any of the te- three teams that just come Zaha out Zaha yeah. wins them games gets defenders sent off wins them free kicks wins them penalties yeah. you cannot replace that you, you can replace well, that Zaha's like replace what? so it go- your ranking goes Ronaldo Zaha every other no. footballer Okay. No, I'm just saying the impact he has. Obviously, I'm not saying Zaha's anywhere near the best footballer in the world. I think he's very much replaceable. He's a leader. What if they can get Neymar for? T- <laughs> okay, no. What? Well, no. Do your lose. Right, no, Cole Palmer on loan. 
For a place like Zaha? No. What, what's your problem with Cole, Cole Palmer? Cole Palmer? He's a good, very He's good rubbish. player. <laughs> You're telling me they could go from Conor Gallagher to Cole Palmer. You're having a laugh. No, they'll go from Zaha to Cole Palmer. Oh, so that's even worse. <laughs> it goes Ronaldo, Cole Palmer, Zaha. Stop. Where, where do you think they're going to finish that? Uh, Mid-table. Maybe just outside the top ten, maybe just inside the top ten. I don't know. It depends on whether they... Like, who does the best recruitment in the next few weeks out of them, <laughs> Brighton, I, I can't get over no. that you've tried to replace Zaha. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer's really good. All right. I think you do well there. I think no, I, don't, I generally think there's good, there's wingers out there. If I, Jonathan Bamber. He's not going to... Oh, lovely Lil. Lovely you know, Lil, yeah. Winning trophies to... Palace. What what have Lille won this year? They won the league last year. Yeah. They went far in the Europa League this year. Who won Who won the French league this year? PSG. Did they? Oh yeah, they did, didn't they? Of course they did. Okay, so I could manage that PSG. So Lille, what, so Bamba with his big trophies, he's won this year then. Not just this year. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Palace could win a trophy. <laughs> they got to the FA Cup final four years ago. No, more than that now. But yeah, four years ago, they had years none ago. of Gallagher, Eze, Elise, Mitchell, exactly, Gurney. exactly. So surely they're more likely to win a trophy now. No, because everyone's got better. Have they? Yes. Do you think the city side now is better than it was in twenty fifteen? Prime David Silva, Aguero, Company, and Martin Dimakalis, Diaz, and Set. I don't De Bruyne know. was there in fifteen, wasn't he? Exactly. That was his first season. Your point, your point don't stand. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever that's the most of me. No. no. <laughs> oh, I don't know anymore. Do you think the quality of the Premier League's got better or worse in the last eight years? Well, if you look at the players, isn't it better? You reckon? Yeah. There's a reason really? City didn't win the league by so many points. What, back then? Back then, yeah. Yeah, but surely that means the league's quality's gone down and the no, golf has no, no, become bigger. No, no, because you're saying that Palace side has got better, the quality's yeah. got better, the Chelsea side has got better. Has it? I think we've got a lot. Shit. Newcastle side has got better. <laughs> okay, yeah. United side has got... Okay, United, United, United have got, got better. Good. South Atlantic have Atlantic got better. Newca- Norwich had less points now than back then. Southampton look worse now than then. What for the better? They got relegated. Tottenham are better. Tot- Tottenham, I'll give you. Oh, to be fair, 2016 Tottenham. Villa are a lot Brian better. Tottenham. Oh, yeah. Brighton are better. Burnley are better. Brentford are better. How many more do you want me to name? Leicester are better. Everton are better. Everton are not better than 2016. Yeah, mate. What the Liverpool. hell are you talking about? Yeah, but they were shit then. Was that, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, basically, clubs go up and down. But yeah. I think the overall scope of the league. Up, okay, interesting choice. Right. Oh, yeah, sorry, Spotify, up. I mean, up, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you all very much for watching. This was episode 51. <laughs> we'll, we'll have episode 52 and episode 53 out this week. We're rattling through the podcast Whoa. now to get them all done for the new season. Um, once we're off for summer, hopefully we can just whack them out daily, potentially. We'll see what is possible there. But, yes, thank you all very much for watching. We are very hot today so we won't record for any longer it's been a relatively decently long yeah. podcast day but yes if you're on youtube head on over to the spotify all that good stuff if you're on spotify head on over to youtube share all the love make sure to join us for all of our coverage of the women's euros live on youtube it's been absolutely fantastic do a quick little sub check see where we're at at the time of recording we are on 648 so two off 650 we may have even hit it before this goes yeah. out you yeah, never know but yes, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Hit the like button. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.